Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here with Mike Moser after the Nike Hoop Summit scrimmage the day before the Hoop Summit game. Mike, you just went up against a group of very highly touted kids. Uh, you guys, uh, you know, it was pretty much a tie game the whole way. Um, you held your own. What did you guys think? Oh, man, it's a really talented group. Um, I mean, they got the big kid, Okafor, in the middle who's going to be a force. The guard play is, is excellent. Um, these guys can really pass, get to the basket. I mean, it's a really talented group. You played in this game a while back. Um, take us through, you know, the you know back then. What what, what was it like playing in that game? Oh man, um, my, my my year was a really good year. You know, played with John Wall and Avery Bradley and Ronald Sidney, Demarcus Cousins. We we had a a real real big fast team. Um, but I mean, the world team was great too. We ended up losing that year. But uh, I mean, just the experience overall, getting to know. Um, these really highly talented guys that you're really going to be competing against on you know, the next level and the level after that. Um, it was really a cool experience. What what went through your head when they asked you to play in this scrimmage? Oh, I was excited. Um, it, it brought me kind of back to the days when, when I was playing in it. So um, it, it was definitely fun to come back and kind of see it and see how it's grown. Any advice you can give some of these guys as uh, you know as a veteran of, of the Hoop Summit game? Um, compete hard and have fun. I mean. All these these games and camps that go by so fast, and uh, you know, you'll be looking back on them soon enough. So just have fun and enjoy it all. How did you enjoy your your, your time in college? You got to see three different schools. Um, you had a very good career. Uh, what what? How would you summarize it overall? Um, and I had a blast. Honestly, really enjoyed college. Um, you know, I had opportunity to leave school early. Um, chose to stay. Um, because I love school that much. Um, I don't think any, there's much, there's any basketball experience really like the, the college one um, with, the, with the crowd and um, the, the level of competitiveness. It's, it's awesome. So. How are you different as a player now than you were when you played in this game? Um, I say maturity-wise, just grown a lot, um, become a better shooter uh, skill-wise, can handle the ball more, just a lot, lot more intelligent uh, as far as being able to make plays and stuff. Um, just kind of a wildly veteran, I guess, now, you know. So. It seemed like the difference between you guys today and, and the high school kids was you guys don't wait. You just go aggressive, make things happen. Is that what, you know, is that what your college coaches have, you know, told you to do? Is that the difference? I mean, what is the difference between a high school kid and a college kid, other than obviously the physical strength and the maturity and the experience? Um, well, yeah, you know, you bring up a good point with the kind of timing thing. Uh, you know, you, you don't sit and hold the ball for, you know, four or five seconds. Uh, you know, it's kind of, you kind of got to calculate what you're going to pass, shoot, or try to make a play in about a second and uh, get the ball to your hands and keep it moving. And I think that's uh, one of the things that the young fellas kind of lack learning in high school is uh, spacing also. Um, you know, when guys driving, you know, being able to fill passing lanes. And, uh, it, it's, it's a really important part of the game. That's, I don't feel like you really learn until you get to the college level. You finished the year on a really strong note, both individually and team-wise. You shot the ball really, really well down the stretch. Did did things kind of click for you at the end? Was there an increased sense of urgency there? Definitely, definitely increased sense of urgency. Um, you know, we, we, we really wanted to do well in the tournament, um, so we had to had to pick it up at the end. I think I started averaging about 11 boards late, and. Um, I shot about 46% from three late in the season. So, I mean, it, it was just definitely a such an urgency um, uh, trying to get back to the tournament and compete there. What's up next for you in these next couple of months leading up to the draft? Um, a lot of training. Um, you know, just working on my game, uh, getting the, the, the shot better, improving the handle, uh, improving the body, and uh, just getting ready to hopefully go get an opportunity to play at the next level. What can you bring an NBA team right now? Um, definitely a lot of intensity. Um, uh, I'm definitely still a student in the game, but uh, I know I can help an NBA team win um, defensively. Um, you know, I rebound the ball extremely well. Um, like I said, I can shoot the ball extremely well and stretch the D. Um, but most of all, I'm just going to compete every day. It's really in vogue these days to to go small and play with smaller lineups. Um, 
you obviously kind of have that prototypical small forward game and, and frame, but are you comfortable, you know, playing the power forward as well if a team wants you to do that too? Oh, definitely. Uh, I really don't feel um, like I even have a position, to be honest, um, when I'm out there. I just know I'm going to do – I'm just not – I know I'm going to rebound. Um, I'm going to make plays for others. Uh, I know I can score the ball when I want to. Um, I can shoot it really well. Um, I mean, I, I think – just being a player is kind of what I am more than a position, but I can play the four, I can guard a four, I can play the three and guard three, guard two, guard one. I mean, so um, just being on the floor for me is, is where I want to be. It doesn't really matter the position. Your background is a little bit unique. Um, what can you tell us about that in terms of your family and all that? Oh, um, yeah, definitely a unique background. My, uh, I mean, I'm adopted, uh, and uh, pretty much everybody in my family is. Um, and I got a brother from Brazil, a sister from Haiti, uh, two little brothers from Mexico. So, you know what I mean? So we're, we're just all from, from everywhere. So it's just a good multicultural family, I guess you could say. What was that like growing up? Um, it was really different. <laughs> it was really different. Uh, definitely got to learn a lot of different cultures and personalities for sure. Um, and I, I feel like it's almost helped me on the court, just being real open-minded to things and, uh, and adversity. Cool, man. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Good luck. Sure.